Tonight, a popular grocery store and restaurant in Georgetown is just reopened after health inspectors shut it down. And this isn't the first time that Dean and DeLuca has found itself in trouble. The latest time, inspectors found an eminent health risk, including evidence of rats, mice, and roaches. Hatzel Vela outside the store right now with the very latest tonight. Hatzel? Allison, as you mentioned, the store has since reopened, and that's for several reasons. One, they've repaid a $100 reinspection fee, and two, an inspector obviously came out here, made sure that everything was okay. This is the sign Dean and DeLuca customers saw when they first approached the door. Neon orange in color, hard to miss. The store shut down, it said, because of imminent health hazards. It's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. Bridget Ansel is a Georgetown student who picks up coffee here occasionally. You wouldn't expect to see Dean and DeLuca of all places, especially for the prices they charge. ABC7 took a closer look at the inspection report. The high-end grocery store has 18 violations, the most serious ones, mold inside the ice machine, rat, mice, and bird droppings behind a refrigerator, produce stored on the floor. The report also says one of the workers was not wearing a hairnet in the seafood section. Today, a lot of employees apparently getting things back in order, both inside and outside the store. I always come here for my lunch break. Disappointing for Cesar Olivares, who works nearby. Don't think I'll be coming back here after that, even if they open up again. When you're buying food or your lunch, you don't want to go somewhere where you know they've had rats and all. But other customers like Andrew Taylor say, hold on. They have good hygiene in there. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that, but DC has a lot of rats, including Georgetown. Not to mention this is becoming a construction site next door. So rats clear out of, of those situations. Halfway through the day, we noticed a sign had been taken down, but customers still were not allowed inside. But you can see now that customers are able to go inside. By the way, since August, this store has been cited three times for violations. We did reach out to the company, but never heard back. Reporting live in Georgetown, Hatzel Vela, ABC 7 News. Hatzel, thank you very much.